Hello, it's me again, back again on the YouTube. Check out this. You like that? This is for Monkey. This is just for him. This is a square of fabric that I let him sit on. And this is actually from my old job. You can see down here it has a tag on it because this is one of the fabrics that we would sell at the furniture store. And when I worked there, we would clip it right here and then hang it on a big wrap rack with like a bunch of other fabric samples. And um, believe it or not, this was for like uh, futon covers and also pillows, probably more practical as a pillow. But it was such a cute sample that when I was leaving, I swiped it and I brought it home just for monkey to sit on. So now I kind of lay it around like it was laying on my bed. Yeah. So, um, I just wanted to give a quick update about how I was feeling depressed yesterday and I just couldn't, like, uh, I just couldn't resolve this feeling about how I felt like I wasted my entire weekend and I was just feeling, like, so shitty. And as I was going to bed last night, I was, like, writing in my journal, which I need to do more often because it's, like... Um, literally the best self-help tool in the entire world is writing in a journal. Um, and I was like, I was thinking about it and I was saying, yeah, I had this feeling today, like I hadn't gotten enough done this weekend. And I, I was like, I, what I could have done better about this is I could have felt my feelings. And if you've been following me, you know what I mean by that. I mean, literally lay down, you know feel your body, find the emotions inside, and then just like follow that for as long as you can instead of trying to run away from it. And I was like, well, you know what? I can do it right now. And so I stopped writing in my journal and I just like laid in bed here, scene of where it happened. I laid in bed and I found this frustrated feeling about not doing enough this weekend. And I held on to it as hard as I could. And it took me all the way back to my childhood. Oh, yeah. It was a deep grief I was feeling, as it turns out. Um, it was the feeling that whenever I get something good, I ruin it by being a weirdo and unlucky and clumsy and just being like a loser basically thanks mom and dad that's an awesome message anyway um but yeah i was like remembering all the like this feeling i was like okay what does this feel like what does it feel like and it reminded me of this time where i was uh riding home from school not from school from a friend's house she had given me a bunch of coloring books and i had them in a plastic bag on my handlebar of my bicycle and I was riding and the bag burst open. It was like rubbing on the wheel and it like burst open and all the coloring books went everywhere. And I was just like standing in this, like they like slid down a hill, like on the hill, like trying to grab coloring books and I'm like crying. And I'm like, I always ruin everything. Um, or this time when I got a camcorder when I was a kid. I've been making videos for like 20 years, by the way. I wish I still had some of them. I think I do, but those are not for the internet. Um, I got a camcorder when I was like 13 or something. And I, I, I had forwarded the tape too far and I thought that it was broken and I just sat on the floor of my room and just cried and cried and cried because it's like whenever I get something good, I ruin it. And I can never have anything good. It just gets snatched away from me. Or um, another time that I thought of was uh, when I was at uh, Disney World and I was at a restaurant with my father and I, sp I was going to get like a bunch of ketchup for the table. I have like two sisters and a stepmother too. And I like went to go get a bunch of ketchup and I was holding like six ketchups and I just like spilled them all over myself. And... Uh, that's a longer story. My dad was a real asshole that day. That's a story I've told in therapy a lot of times. But anyway, but it's like we were having such a good time. We were at Disney World and then I just ruined it by being clumsy. Not really my fault. My father was an asshole. But um, but yeah, so I and I found all of those feelings by searching for this. Hey, why do you feel 
so grieved by feeling like you took a four day weekend and didn't do much with it. Why is there, there that intensity of an emotion behind this? And um, yeah, and then I like cried. I like cried about my childhood wound to uh, my, uh, my sense of self and my sense of uh, how I interact with the world and, um, you know, just feeling like a weird loser who always fucks things up. I like, I found that, I found the core of that emotion and I like grieved for it. I cried. It took a while. It took longer than I thought it would. It took like 20, 30 minutes to like really like, uh, to like get it out. But then look, the serenity that comes after crying something like that out. I mean, it's like, it's like you take a piece of trauma and you just dislodge it and it just floats away. And that's, and I just, I ended that, um, that exploration of my feelings, like feeling instead of this uncomfortable anxiety and sadness and tension that I had been feeling, I felt like a serenity. I felt like really overwhelmed by how, um, beautiful and uh, complex it is to be a person and um, how grateful I am to be in touch with my emotions. And today was great. I had a really good time today. I stayed at home for my work from home day. I went grocery shopping. I was in a good mood. I exercised. I ate healthy. I ate, I ate vegetables. I drank water and just felt very calm and put together all day long. So that's, I guess that's my life update for today. You gotta feel your feelings, guys. It's like you write in a journal, super good for you. Okay, bye.